Greg Russell is back with Real Talk. Oh, I wish we had popcorn every time Greg was on. That would kick it up several notches. Good to see you. Great to see you. Good to have you back. back. Always a pleasure. So let's see. We want to talk about uh, it's Bridges of Bridges. Bridge of Spies. Bridge of Spies. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Got to say, great movie. Is it? Oh yeah. Anything that Tom Hanks is in is good. Like I don't think I've ever seen a Tom Hanks movie, and I'm like, ah, I could have passed on that one. They're always good. Right. I mean, you mix in Spielberg with him. I mean, that's just the magic combination. Yeah, I mean, this movie takes place uh, during the Cold War, end of the 1950s, mm -hmm. going into the 1960s. And what happens is the United States captures a Russian spy here in the U.S. Well, he's offered or supposed to get his due process. Mm -hmm. right. So Tom Hanks is an attorney. In fact, he's a tax attorney. And they give him the job saying, we want you to defend this guy. He's going, this tax isn't attorney. my yeah. thing. Okay. But when he gets in there, he realizes that you know they really just wanted to just go mm -hmm. but he goes in and really tries to defend this gotcha. guy wow. so thus people begin to not like him <laughs> wow. in the country but then another issue comes up where Tom Hanks then becomes the facilitator of making an exchange of people mm -hmm. and so it's a very very interesting and compelling movie and as we all know Steven Spielberg is definitely a stickler you know for yeah. mm -hmm. everything being right mm -hmm. there's this one part that really st sticks out with me Tom Hanks is in the jail cell with his client he asked him would you like a cigarette he says right. yes he pulls out a pack of matches that has the strike pad on the front of the matches hmm. they haven't made them like that since the late 60s hmm. And he could have easily so down to every right. detail. Right, your every point detail. Plus, you yeah. see the trailer. I've only seen the trailer, obviously, but when you see it, you know it's a period piece, but right. it is shot beautifully. Oh. You feel like you've been taken back in time, right? And that's what he said he wanted to do. Yeah. He said he enjoys the superhero movies, but he wanted to get back to that old, mm. you know, just movie get making. into the movie, right? Yeah. Movie making, where just people enjoy and follow along with the deep story. Okay. Well, you know, whenever Greg is on, you know what happens to me? I get goosebumps. Yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> like the new oh wait, that's the next movie. Yeah. So what is the what is this? It's all about goosebumps, right? It's, it's a family Black. movie. It's a family movie. It's all about the, the movies that the kids or the tweens read now, Goosebumps. Yeah. Uh, there's a young boy and his mom. They move into a new town. Okay. Next door, he notices there's this weird guy, but he's got a really nice, cute daughter. So he and the daughter start up a friendship. Mm -hmm. He goes over to the house, and he looks, and he realizes she's got all the manuscripts for the Goosebumps series. Uh. So he goes, oh, these are so great, but they're all locked. He goes to grab one, and before she can tell him, you know, that typical in slow motion, no, do, <laughs> right, uh, right. he opens it up, and whatever the monster is that was written in that book jumps out. Oh, come on. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and they all come to life. And Jack Black, I mean, obviously he's got comedic talent, but we're seeing this range from him. Right. He plays R.L. Stein, the creator of Goosebumps. Mm -hmm. And so it's all about them throughout the movie trying to capture mm -hmm. all of these monsters wow. that have gotten out. And this little ventriloquist dummy, I mean, I had one as a kid. I thought he was great. Now I, I did see too. why people yeah. were scared of him. Because yeah. this guy is just very frightening. He's the leader telling everybody else, no, we're not going back into the books. Keep us oh, out. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that should be really popular with the tweens, like you said. Oh, yeah. Now, the next movie we want you to tell us about is Truth. Yes. Now that one. It's about Dan Rather. Dan Rather and, and, and his producer from CBS, mm -hmm. right? Marla back Mapes, in 2004, yeah. um, you know, dealing with when George Bush was running for re-election, mm -hmm. and in regards to his um, military history, right? Mm -hmm. They had gotten some information that they took as being correct, and then all of a sudden it comes out where people started questioning it, going, "Well, wait a minute, you can make this font on, you know, Microsoft Windows or whatever." Sure. And so then they all of a sudden have to go up and check out things with their. Uh, contacts, the people where they got the information from, all of a sudden now people are falling back. It's like, well, I didn't really tell you that. Right. Yeah. And, you know, just how it all just, you know, came down. Because as they said, that was the start of Dan Rather's spiral. Can you get past down. Redford being, I mean, an oh, iconic yeah. actor yeah, playing seriously. Dan Rather? I mean, do you buy it or are you sitting oh, there you going, do, oh, that looks I, like, you know, Redford. Oh, yeah, because you love her, Robert Redford. And right. I got to say, Dan Rather, if I was him, I'd be at home going, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Redford to be me? Right. I should oh. take that. Okay, I good. love that. Yeah. All right, another one. We've got a lot today. Freeheld. Freeheld. What is this one? Uh, this is another one. This one has Julianne Moore okay. and Ellen Page. Yeah. Uh, another one based off of a true story and like we've said you know now that we're getting into the award season all these really well acted movies mm -hmm, are coming out mm -hmm. Julianne Moore last year won an Academy Award for playing a woman with Alzheimer's this time she's a lady who she's a police officer mm -hmm. she also is a lesbian so they she and Ellen Page are together Partners. right and so she finds out that she all of a sudden has brain cancer oh, wow. so when she realizes she's dying she wants to make sure that her partner is taken care of she wants mm -hmm. her to get the benefits yeah. but this is well before any of the stuff you know that oh, we've been gotcha. going through yeah. hearing about yeah. this yeah. year yeah. you know ever happen. So, so you talk to some a lot of, the of problems from this, right? Yep, got to talk to both of them about, you know, just the situation and how tragic it is.
both, you know, great characters. Mm -hmm. And here's yours who unfortunately in the beginning had to hide everything from everybody she worked with. Right, right. Or just, yeah, just kind of led a separate life, yeah. you know. Um, but one of the things that interested me so much about Laurel is that she was a real believer in the justice system and in law enforcement and spent her life um, working in law enforcement and, and saw herself as a good guy, as a defender of people. Um, and so when this tragedy befell her, you know, she, you know, one of the things that she says in the documentary, and we say in the movie too, is that she spent her life um, seeking justice for other people. Now she wanted it for the woman that she loves. You two first got together. You were, your character was the one who was like, okay, hey, let's kind of show this to everybody, you know. But of course, by being a police officer, she couldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think what we wanted to do too was capture the complexity of what it does mean to be in a closeted relationship. Yeah. Wow, and that was stuff. actually based on a true story, right? Yes, yes it was. And that happened as well uh, about seven or eight years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, in recent time. Okay. This is just the beginning of our fall wrap-up into oh, the holiday yeah. season. Exciting. So what do you have here? We've got well, more uh, We've got more giveaways. It's Aladdin's yeah. anniversary. Oh, my so gosh. So we've got some Aladdin downloads to send out to you so you can have your own copy of okay. the movie. Okay, very Great. nice. Plus the other movie, Tomorrowland. Uh, we've got some giveaways for that as well where you can... You know, go to our uh, Live in the D Facebook page, That's get great. downloads, and have your own copy of the movie. You know, very, some people go nice. to Hollywood and they they get the swag and they keep it for themselves. This guy comes back, Greg says, "Here, give it to our viewers." Isn't that nice? Yeah, well, Thank you. I love nice. it. Thank I love you. It's it. good to see you. Thank as you always. So much great for to being see you guys here. too. Yeah, Enjoy the rest right. of your week. I will. And next.